What's the crack, lads? What is going on? Hope you guys are having a good day. We are back with Beckenbauer's training guide. Now, again, this guy is a, is, a, is an absolutely insane player. Um, I would probably prefer Matthaus and Ramin Negi over these two guys, over Beckenbauer, I should say, as those two guys there. But I do think that Beckenbauer is still an absolute weapon of a player, lads. He would be a beast. If I was to get him, I feel like I could be, uh, I could be slotting him in with Maldini just for the the OG retro feel in my back line. But um, yeah, I mean, he's a fantastic player. You can see here, um, there's a couple of issues with this card, right? That I'm that a few people have been asking me my thoughts on him. There's a couple of issues with this card. Firstly, he doesn't have your traditional kind of, um, you know, destroyer type role as a center back, which can be an issue sometimes because cards with not, uh, with low aggression, with that don't have high aggression, um, they can kind of sometimes like, sit back with the AI, because the game is all about at the moment now, if you feel like you're being completely dominated uh, by an opponent, it doesn't matter what division that they are, man, and, you know, regardless of the connection, right, the connection obviously is an issue a lot of the time, but if you're having a fair game and it's across the board and you just feel like you're getting turned over a lot of the time, chances are the players that the guy is using is are very aggressive compared to yours, so that is something to keep an eye out with Beckenbauer, because his aggressive aggression level is only at 66 here, which is quite poor, right, now, everything else on the card is insane. Like, you've got brilliant defensive awareness. You've got excellent jumping and low pass and lofted passability. So you are kind of playing him as a sweeper. Um, I think he would be perfect as a tree at the back if you were to sit him in the middle, as long as you don't come up against somebody like Ian Collar or Haaland that's going to just dominate him in the air. Well, then again, King Collar dominates all. But Beckenbauer is a very, very good, solid build-up style um, centre-back that you can play out a little bit. So if you have two destroyers beside him and you've got a bit of cover from your left and right wing-backs, I definitely think he could get into any squad, right? Now, you will need to throw on blocker on his player skill, right? If you are looking to have him as a centre-back. So that's something as well that he is a brilliant card, but he's got a lot of empty calorie stats, lads, is what I call him, right? Because his rating is kind of uh, inflated or adjusted because of the low pass and the lofted pass and the heading, which you don't really get on a lot of ball with him that way. Um, because as a centre back, obviously, he's only going to be rated in that position as a centre back first and foremost. So, you know, the likes of um, stamina and the likes of ball control and tight possession and low pass and lofted pass, they'll up the rating of his car to be a better overall, but they're not going to really add much to him on the pitch. So that is something to keep in mind as well. Now, when we get to his actual card here, we're going to show you two different versions of him. Um, and a lot of people were kind of saying to me in the last one when I did the did the, the little short review of Beckenbauer, you know, what am I talking about playing him as a DMF? But trust me, there are people playing Beckenbauer as a DMF because you can train him up in a very specific way for DMF while still having a really good passing and uh, ball control stats, right? So that would be a DMF type version of him there. I wouldn't recommend this. But the only thing with this version is you don't need to put any real stats or player skills on him. So you don't really need blocker. Obviously, it would be a huge advantage. But the main thing with this guy is to just be an all-rounder kind of as a... Pretty much if you're playing a 4-4-2, right? Or any formation with four uh, defenders where you're playing your left and right fulls and your two center backs, right? You could have Beckenbauer sitting as deep as possible or even man-marking because he's got man-marking player skill. You could have him man-marking the center forwards. So he would sit back as kind of like a third center back. So that's just something to keep in mind there um, with a bit of mind games. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend this DMF build, lads. I know some of you have trained him that way, but I definitely wouldn't. And if you are thinking of training him that way, I wouldn't either. I think you just stick to what you know with this guy. He's a tried and tested center back. Max out his defending with 10. We're also going to get the little boost with two into goalkeeping, which brings up his jump a little bit just to use up those uh, little stats there and the progression points. Dexterity, lower body, and aerial strength are all quite decent. But I think for this card, lads, that is kind of how I would go with it. Now, is he going to be the best build-up uh, centre-back that's there? You obviously have Van Dijk. I think Van Dijk is extremely clunky in the game. I would much prefer Beckenbauer here. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, he is a very mobile centre-back. And he kind of reminds me when he's on the ball of David Alaba. Uh, somebody like that, that is extremely good on the ball, that can shoot, that can pass, that can just do long-range shooting long range passing, switches, stunning crosses, everything that you could possibly want. And of course, he does have interception, man marking and fighting spirit as well, which is always nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, from the three of those, I would say that I would definitely want Matthaus. But let me know who you spun. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip. Um, I know that we've got a good pack coming next week as well. So maybe it would be a case of waiting to spin for them. 
But yeah, any of these three boys will be monsters. Check out my other reviews and my other training guides if you haven't already. And until next time, we will talk to you in a bit.